Today I'm showing off an origin that I made that adds the Martian origin to Minecraft. Martian, you are a small green humanoid from Mars. You can make advanced technology and turn exotic materials into exotic weapons. As a Martian, it is hard living on Earth. Earth has more gravity and you're not used to the new foods. Alright, so let's go through the features. The first feature is Martian crafting, where if you push G and you have the right item in your main hand and the other items in your inventory, you can craft some cool items, and we'll cover that later in this video. Alright, the second feature is Sulk Collector. So whenever you kill a mob, it will build up this little bar right here, and it can hold up to 80 souls. Alright, next feature, Cold Immunity. When standing in powdered snow, you can still freeze and get the dual effects from it, but you will not take any damage. Alright. Next feature is a super shot. So when you push your secondary ability with either a bow or a crossbow or a blaster in your inventory, it will do a special attack. So your bow, when you do it, it will shoot a volley of arrows out. And then your crossbow will, when you do it, will shoot a long ranged attack that slows enemies and gives you a burst of movement speed. And your next feature is alien body. You are green, and your skin will get a green tint, and you are one and a half blocks tall, so you can fit under half slabs without having to sneak. Alright, next feature, energy. So, you have this energy bar, this yellow bar right here, and whenever you hit an enemy, it will decrease. And when you're at max energy, you'll get strength one, but when you're at three or less, you'll get weakness one. So you're a lot better with axes, and... It takes generally longer to kill a mob. Alright, next feature is alien diet. So whenever you eat any food, you'll get slowness for 10 seconds. And you cannot move at all. This does come with an upside though. So whenever you eat chorus fruit, it'll actually restore an extra 100 notch. The final two weaknesses are fragile and brittle bones. Brittle bones means you take more fall damage, and fragile means you only have 8 hearts. Alright, now let's go cover some of the weapons. So, for a lot of the crafting, you'll need a you'll need some souls, so we're just going to give ourselves a full soul bar. Alright, first base, let's just cover some basic items first. So, soul ingot. Only you have to hold the gold ingot in your hand, and if you push G, it will consume 10, 10 souls, and you'll get a soul ingot. Right, next one is Void Ingot. If you hold an Ender Pearl in your hand and have one Copper Ingot in your inventory, it will create a Void Ingot. Alright, now let's cover some of the basic blasters. So, the first one is a Fiery Blaster. This You have to hold a Flint and Steel in your main hand, and two Copper Ingots, three Iron Ingots, and a Soul Ingot required in your inventory. And if you have some souls when you do it, you'll get a Fiery Blaster. So with the Fiery Blaster, when you right click, it can it'll shoot a line of fire out that will set mobs on fire and deal damage to them. And then its super shot will create a line of fire and drag all mobs into it that are nearby. Alright, next one is the icy blaster. This one you have to have you have to hold an ice block and have a soul ingot, copper ingots, and three iron ingots. If we do this, we'll get an icy blaster. So the way an icy blaster works is when you right click with it, it'll play it'll put out a snow field and then it will put down an ice field on a random mob nearby and the ice field can slow. Alright, and then the super shot, when you do it, it'll create a icy field that slows all enemies, and then after eight seconds, this field will explode, dealing a lot of damage. Alright. The final basic blaster is the Star Blaster. So this one requires one gunpowder in your main hand, and then a soul ingot, two copper ingots, and three iron ingots in your inventory. But you also require 25 souls, so we need to get some more souls. And now we have a Martian Star Blaster. So when you hold this gun, you'll get slowness. And then when you right click, it'll shoot out a, a white laser that will explode for the last 10 blocks of travel. And this one has a 10 second reload, the other two have 5. And then its main ability is if we need... 
we try to do it, it says you need 10 levels of experience. So we have to go XP set at a 10 levels. And then when we do this, cooldowns back up. We'll get poisoned, and we'll lose all that experience, but we will get an experience star, which will be useful later. Next one you can craft is a copper sword. You need to hold an iron sword and have two copper in your inventory. When you do this, you'll consume some souls and you get a copper sword. And this copper sword is the same as a diamond sword, but with one unique functionality. So this is whenever you kill a mob with this sword, you will, regener you will regenerate four of your energy bars. Like as we look, we're out of energy, and when we kill, we get three back. Now four. Next thing is a soul pickaxe. Fairly straightforward. You need an iron pickaxe in your hand, three soul ingots. Craft it, you get a soul pickaxe. And this is very similar to a diamond pickaxe, but when you mine gilded blackstone, you'll get a gilded ingot. Iron uranium. So you can make uranium by holding an experience star and then having four gilded ingots and four netherite scrap in your inventory. And this will be used for the next tier of blasters. So let's cover those. So we have a, a chemical fireball blaster. So this one requires you to hold a fire charge and have one uranium, three coal, four void ingots, and eight copper in your inventory. And this will give you a chemical fire blaster. So the way this one works is when you right click, it will spawn a fireball in front of you, and you can punch it to make an explosion. And this one does have a longer cooldown. And then its super ability is when you push it, it will spawn some fireworks in the ground and launch you into the air. And then you'll get slow falling on the way down so you don't take any fall damage. Other blaster you can make with uranium is the chemical poison blaster and this one requires you hold a spider eye and then have one uranium three coal four void ingots and eight copper ingots in your inventory and some souls so let's go fill up on souls again got a chemical poison blaster so the way this one works is when you right click you'll shoot out a poison ray that will poison enemies hit and if they're already poisoned, it will increase the strength of the poison up to poison 10. And once they're at poison 10, they'll start to glow if you hit them with another ray. So if you see this cow, we're just stacking them up on poison. Just like so. And then your super ability is you deal 6 hearts of damage to all mobs inflicted by poison 10. And if it kills them, you get a sinister soul. And this will be used in a future crafting recipe. Now that we've covered the basic guns, let's cover the final one. So this is a, you need a galaxy ingot to make this one. So with a galaxy ingot, you need to hold a dragon head, have four sinister souls, four void ingots, four soul ingots, four experience stars, four gilded ingots, and four copper ingots in your inventory. And when you craft it, and you also need 80 souls, so you need a full soul bar. When you craft it, you'll get a galaxy ingot. And then for the Galaxy Blaster, you need your Galaxy Ingot, 20 Diamonds, 12 Iron Ingots, another Star, and another Right Ingot. So if you hold the Galaxy Ingot, and again this one requires 80 souls, you'll get a Galaxy Blaster. So let's go away from the showcase area just to demonstrate this one. So this one's really powerful, so if you sh right click, it will shoot a Galaxy out. And then if this galaxy collides with any blocks, it will explode, dealing a lot of damage. So let's... And just a thing to note is that the galaxy will always try to go up, so you really have to point it downwards if you want to fire it into the ground. So like this one will go into the ground, and the particles will unload after a little bit. But you can see that it hit and made that explosion. Now, so if we fire it from here like that, You'll see it explodes a massive area. Alright, and then you may be wondering, what is this weapon's super ability? So when you hold this weapon, and you activate your super ability, you'll get a ton of buffs at level 10 for 10 seconds. So all the buffs you get is night vision, jump boost, absorption, water breathing, speed, strength, resistance, haste, fire resistance, and night vision. 
Alright, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this Martian data pack. The download link will be in the description below. And I'll have a link to the Discord server for Origins Mod where you can also download it.